Hello, today I am reviewing the Xerox Travel Scanner 150. It's a mobile scanning solution. It's a small little item that's about the size of a three-hole punch, maybe a little bit bigger. And um, I will tell you that we've been having a lot of fun scanning some documents and um, photographs today. Um, to do an OCR document, which is really, really cool, um, if you don't know what ACR, OCR is, it's Optical Character Recognition. The software works with your scanner to convert printed characters into digital text. That way you can search for or edit your document in some sort of a word processing program like Microsoft Word. And it's really handy for people who are on the go. Um, if you've got a job where you're uh, constantly um, needing to send documents to people, sometimes um, I get documents that are that are set up where it's just a regular printed piece of paper. I need to be able to scan it both as a PDF and also edit the feature. So um, I've already installed this. I did have a little trouble with the disk last night, so um, it uh, got hung up on my computer. So what I did was I restarted my computer and I googled Travel Scanner 150 Xerox and I found the software um, immediately online and download it with absolutely no trouble. So if you've got the disk that it comes with it, ignore it. Just go online and get the most updated software. When you first um, uh, go on the program, over in the corner of your computer, there's a little box you can click and that's where you can decide, you know, tell the scanner what kind of uh, document you're going to be scanning or photo. I've been scanning a bunch of different photos. My mother-in-law gave me a giant box full of images from of the 1920s, 30s, 40s, 50s. I've got um, wedding pictures from 1961 of my mother and father-in-law, picture of my mother-in-law in first grade in 1954. I've got um, color pictures from the 80s and 90s when I was younger. So there's all kinds of crazy stuff I'm going to be scanning and creating Facebook albums for relatives. Um, I'm going to take a regular uh, black and white document. I'm going to pick document OCR and black and white is the standard for that. You click OK and apply it and over in the corner it'll tell you um, eight and a half by eleven page black and white OCR. So what that means is you put it in face down. When I scan this in it's not only going to um, scan the image, I can go in and edit the text. So if somebody hands you a piece of paper and that's all you have, you can convert it into a Word document that you can actually edit, which is amazing. It's genius. So it shows up here on the, on the screen. And when you've got the image, it looks just like the one that I just um, had here. And you go view to this little desktop. And you can drag it all the way down to some feature on the bottom. Like I picked... You could do Word or here I just dragged it into um, one touch. It's WordPad basically. Oh, and here it is. Look at this. I can go in and edit. This is fabulous. It took the words from a regular piece of paper and converted it into text. And it looks just like the um, words here. I don't see any problems or glitches to it, so that's great. You can um, then save it from there. You can email it or save it as a PDF. I love that. There's many times, um, you know, we do sports coaching where all we're given is just a piece of paper and the they don't have it in a attachment that is editable. So I love it. That's a great feature. OCR is definitely um, more advanced software and very, very helpful. So as you can see, I have... Um, scan some images up here on the screen. Don't be discouraged if you scan something and it turns out all black or white outlined. That means you just have the setting wrong. So right now I have it set at black and white and that's the standard. Look on the bottom of your screen. Just click it and um, do something, you know, like a different setting. So you would you would click it and you would pick instead of OCR or legal document or whatever, go down and click um, photograph or whatever. You can pick business cards, magazines, receipts. Um, you could even name a new configuration. So for example, um, we could pick JPEG here on the screen and I can go new 
Instead of black and white, I will pick either color or grayscale, and we'll call it, um, how about 400 resolution, or you could pick 600, which is the highest resolution image. And I'm going to name it um, Old Photos. Let's do that. Then um, on Advanced Settings, you can, you know, mess with the color saturation and all kinds of other stuff. There are so many advanced settings on here. Oh, I'm going to pick 4 by 6 photograph image, or you can make custom images if you have an old-timey photo that's not uh, 4 by 6. You click Apply, OK, and that way you have a new setting in, saved in your computer. It's gonna, Mine's called Old Photos, and they're high resolution click apply and that'll change what's over in the corner so before you scan go look over in the corner and see if you have it on color or grayscale or what you have it set to and that way I can take um, you know this image of old 1961 um, newlywed um, in-laws and scan it right through and I could take all these old images that we have and digitize them It'll take me a while because um, I want to make sure that I organize them into folders. I can send them to people, make digital photo books because I'm saving them as a JPEG. And finally, technology has caught up to some of the things that I need to do. So I love that. Um, you can see here I've been scanning images, various old tiny images. Uh, I'm going to give this uh, scanner a four star because some of the images have little lines at the very bottom, right in this section here. Um, I've already, uh, you know, gone through and done the calibration where you put these into the machine, and also I'm going to go through and take this little felt pad that's a cleaner and run it through to clean it. Maybe there's some sort of um, thing that's um, making it create little lines. I'm also going to play around with the resolution. So, you know, it's not the most user friendly to install at first, but just be certain you ignore the disk, go right to the website and download the software that way. And then read the owner's manual. There's an owner's manual that you can download. It's pretty big, but go through and read it because it really does give you so much more insight as to why you might be having problems. And some of the you know things that you might go, oh wow, why is it scanning like this? It's user error usually. I mean, um, if you haven't mastered it, it's probably because you you don't have the right settings. <laughs> so go through and uh, make sure that you have it all set properly. And uh, this is really cool. Um, I give it a, a thumbs up. Um, it could be a little bit more user friendly as far as photographs go because. You know, there's some things that seem just a tad bit glitchy. This is the best photo I scanned, and um, I think I had it on lower resolution. But it's not quite as clear and crisp as the image that I am holding up. So when you match them side by side, uh, I think that this one made it larger, like 8.5 by 11. So that might be part of the issue. So I will um, update my review if I think that I've fully mastered the photographs and they, they come out... Um, clear and crisp and sharp, a little bit better than they are now, then it's definitely worth a five star. But as far as documents go, if you are um, just scanning legal documents and invoices or just taking your everyday bills and all those receipts and business cards and making them digital, then this is perfect. Uh, if you're doing any high photo editing with detailed imagery, mm, it's more like a four star. There are better scanners for that, I feel, for photographs. But this is um, pretty good just to you know get some images out of the bucket of old photos I have and get them on Facebook for family enjoyment. So thank you very much, and um, thank you for watching the video.